Welcome to our channel, where we provide valuable information on various health conditions. Today, we'll be discussing a common injury that affects many individuals, especially those involved in sports and repetitive activities, frozen shoulder. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what frozen shoulder is, its causes, symptoms, and treatment options. So, let us jump right in. Frozen shoulder, also known as adhesive capsulitis, is a condition characterized by stiffness, pain, and limited range of motion in the shoulder joint. It typically develops gradually and progresses through three distinct phases, freezing, frozen, and thawing. During the freezing phase, the shoulder gradually becomes more painful and stiff. Simple movements like reaching for objects or putting on clothes can become challenging. This phase can last for several months and is often accompanied by a gradual loss of shoulder mobility. Frozen phase is characterized by persistent stiffness and limited range of motion in the shoulder joint. Pain may decrease during this phase, but the shoulder remains significantly restricted in movement. Finally, the thawing phase marks a gradual improvement in shoulder mobility. The range of motion slowly returns, and pain diminishes over time. This phase can last anywhere from several months to years, with the shoulder eventually regaining its full functionality. The exact cause of frozen shoulder is not fully understood. However, certain factors can increase the risk of developing this condition. These include age, with individuals over 40 being more susceptible, as well as certain medical conditions like diabetes, thyroid disorders, or previous shoulder injuries. Women are also more prone to developing frozen shoulder compared to men. Treatment of frozen shoulder focuses on relieving pain, improving range of motion, and restoring function. Non-surgical interventions such as physical therapy, stretching exercises, and pain management techniques are commonly prescribed. In some cases, your doctor may recommend the use of anti-inflammatory medications or corticosteroid injections to alleviate pain and inflammation. More severe cases, or when conservative measures do not provide sufficient relief, surgical interventions like manipulation under anesthesia or arthroscopic surgery may be considered. These procedures aim to break up scar tissue and loosen the tightened joint capsule to restore shoulder mobility. Recovery from frozen shoulder can be a slow and gradual process. It requires patience, commitment to therapy exercises, and adherence to the recommended treatment plan. It's important to work closely with your healthcare provider to monitor progress and adjust the treatment approach accordingly. In conclusion, frozen shoulder is a condition characterized by stiffness, pain, and limited range of motion in the shoulder joint. It progresses through three phases and can significantly impact daily activities. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment, including physical therapy and pain management, are key to managing this condition effectively and restoring shoulder function. Remember to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and personalized treatment plan. That is all for today. If you have any questions or personal experiences you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Stay positive, stay motivated, and we'll see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please like and share this video and subscribe our channel.